Listen, I have good news for you. Don't be afraid. God is waiting to hear your call. Don't be afraid. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know what it is. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing. And I also want to submit to you that fear also comes by hearing. You've heard too many things. The Brexit is sending, it's sending shivers into your spine. Whether in or out, God is the one that's going to take care of you. you call on his name. Anything that causes concern is asking for calling on God's name. Bible says that don't be worried about anything. Ah, Philippians anxious. chapter 4 verse 6. Yeah. Be anxious for nothing. Yeah. You are worrying too much. You know, some of you, what, what I don't even understand is young ladies who are not married and are so worried about childbirth. You are worried that maybe when I get married I will not have children. Why are you worried about things like that? Yeah. Why are you worried? What, what makes you think you won't get married? Actually, you are not getting married because of your worry. Yeah. You are so anxious that it's making you make mistakes in your driving test. Yeah, there are good drivers who fail the test because of anxiety. Anxiety. So Bible said, hey, 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 don't be anxious. That's anxiety is there. Anxiety. He said, don't be anxious. Don't let anxiety take over. Don't be anxious. He said, be anxious for nothing. In fact, me saying don't be anxious is, is even more. The Bible said, for not, be anxious for nothing. But what should I do? Shh, calm down, calm down. But in everything, say everything. So be anxious for nothing. But in everything, anything that can make you become anxious, don't be anxious for. But in everything, by prayer and supplication. Let your request be made with us given. Let your request be made to God, known to God. And the peace of God that transcends all understanding shall keep your heart and your mind. Amen. Psalm 56 verse 3. Whenever I'm afraid, I trust you. You know, sometimes you are so beset with fear of the unknown, of what's about to happen. Whilst fear is coming, relax and trust God. God, I'm just going in your name. I'm going. You know when, when the guy, some time ago, when he tied your head, blinded you, put a cloth around your face, said, just follow me. He wants to give you a surprise. So I said, oh, what is it? He said, just follow me, come, come. I said, oh, what is it? Come, come, come. You, you trusted him because you know the guy's a good guy. And recently he's got a very big contract. So you know your birthday is going to be good. And he came, he said, I'll, I'll have a surprise for you. He tied your, he, he, he tied your, uh, your eyes or covered your eyes. He said, come. And you're going, you couldn't see, but you could trust him. You know he will not lead you into a lion's den. Your, your sister told you some time ago, Close your eyes, open your mouth. <laughs> Didn't your sister say to you some time ago? He said, Oh, who? Your husband. <laughs> you, you trusted him enough. Psalm 56, verse 3 said, Whenever I am afraid, I will trust him. Psalm 80, 81, verse 10. He said, you open your mouth. Trust me, open your mouth. Open your mouth wide and I will fail it. Now, remember, someone asked you to open your mouth. You close your eyes and you did it. You trusted it. Trust God. Open your mouth. Now, when he said open your mouth, he's talking about talking, talk to me. Talk to me. I'll fail it. 